Hey, what's up? Today we're going to be changing the brakes on my 1998 Honda Civic EX, okay? First things first. Find a suitable jack location on the car, just like that. Lift it up one or two pumps off the ground so you can get the lug nuts off of the, the car itself. Okay, as you can see, that wasn't that hard. Next, we just lift up the car all the way off the ground. Just like that. Take off the lug nuts. can be a pain in the ass. It takes a long time sometimes. Okay, take off the hub cap, set it aside, take off the tire, put that aside as well. Okay, now we've got it exposed to here. What you wanna do next, Get some crescent wrench. You're gonna see this washer right here. It's not totally round, it's kind of flat on one side. What you wanna do is you wanna grab this flat sided washer right here. Okay, just like that. Then you've got your 14, no, your 12 millimeter socket right here. Put that on your nut right here. And it should be able to break. You hear that? It broke. Okay, just like that. Take off your nut. Or your, your bolt, I'm sorry. Set it aside right here. You can do that to the top side, which is right here. Exact same procedure. Put it on there. Give it one good whack, just to break the connection. You're done with this. Go ahead and take this off. This is a bolt that's right there at the top. There's one right there, and there's one right there at the bottom. Just so you know. Take this off. Okay, two bolts that hold on the brake cal caliper. Then you've got one bolt down here that holds the brake line onto the armature itself. Take that off, it makes things easier. A lot easier. Okay, by doing that, you pretty much freed this brake line right here. Now, you should be able to take this off. Um, like so. See? Set this right on top of that for now so it doesn't fall, okay? Here are your brake pads. To take them off, just take them off like this. Okay? Here are the old brake pads. We're gonna compare them to the new ones. As you can see, there wasn't that much left of life for these guys. So we're gonna replace them with these new ones. Take your old ones, set them aside. You're not gonna use them again. The brake pad that doesn't have the squealer, the squealer is this metal thing right here. This brake pad goes on the front. So you put it in like this. And it should just pop right into place. Just like that. The second one goes with the squealer, squealer on the outside like that. And it's the same procedure from the back. Stick it into the slot, push it in just like that. Okay, now there's a problem with the brake caliper itself. This thing right here 
is the plunger. This is what actually puts pressure on the brake pads. It's on its way out. So we've got to push it back on its way in. With this, you get a C-clamp. Okay, put it on the back of the caliper like this. So it's gonna look like that, okay? You're gonna tighten up on that and it's gonna make this go up inside the, the body. Witness. Gotta go all the way in. All the way, all the way, all the way. Ta-da! As you can see, the plunger is now all the way back in. With this, like that, it is now possible to put it back on over the brake uh, shoes. Otherwise, it won't fit. Now, what you gotta do is you gotta get these two bolts that we took out the first time, put them back in here. like that and then don't forget the top one we are almost done what we got to do next is put on the brake line bolt this goes right here and it goes through the little mounting point into the armature here Awesome, now we got to tighten this stuff. Okay, got it hand tight. To tighten these, we gotta do the exact opposite. You gotta get your crescent and put it back on this flat washer just like I taught you before. Okay, go ahead and tighten the bolt from behind. like that and you gotta do the bottom one too and that is it folks that is the brake job next step get your tire back on roll your tire back mount it to the studs Grab your hubcap. There's a cutout right here for your valve stem. Make sure it matches up. Okay. Then you start off with one lug nut. like I taught you before. Go ahead and tighten your lug nuts all the way down as far as they'll go. Get as many as you can. Once you see the tire spin like that once, it means it's almost ready for the final tightening. Make sure all of your lug nuts are on there, this tight at least. Okay, once you get to this point, it's still jacked up. I need you to drop it down a little bit so the tire will make contact with the ground and compress. Just like that. Not all the way down, but just enough so you can 
put some real torque onto these lug nuts. <clears throat> that will keep the, the tire from spinning, but it'll still allow you to tighten up the lug nuts. After we get to this point, all that's left to do is take off the jack entirely, make sure it's clear, get all your stuff out, everything's done. This was Adrian for the brake job, thank you.